Well, Paul, Paul's solution to anxiety, I think, is just following up in a way and amplifying what Jesus says uh, when he says, cast all your care upon him, for he cares for you, uh, and uh, in 1 Peter. And then in Philippians, I think, is perhaps the, the best known passage in relation, relation to anxiety, because he says, don't have anxiety about anything. Uh, now that you could say, well, that's the answer. You don't need to think about it again. Just stop it. <laughs> but it, the Bible is more nuanced, and, and we need to put that verse in context because Paul actually says, when you're anxious, do certain things. So give thanks and bring, give thanks for the things that you do have, and then bring your needs and your worries and anxieties to God in prayer. Um, and then he, he goes on to say, um, think on the good things in your life. Be grateful for those. You know, whatever is pure and good and lovely and so on, he lists that. It's a sort of a Christian optimistic thinking, positive thinking. And, and then he says, and, and, and do the things that I do in terms of following the Lord, trusting him, praying, and then the God of peace will be with you. Now, he said at the beginning of that passage, the Lord is near. Um, but I think he's saying, but the subjective awareness of him being near will be more uh, possible for you if you do these things as an expression of your trust of the one who is in sovereign control of the universe.